Safe, easy to use power at your fingertips. The iGen 200S from Westinghouse. A lightweight, quiet, maintenance free, and easy to use source of power. The 150 watt power bank has 194 watt hours of power. Enough power to run a laptop for 13 hours or recharge a cell phone 20 times. 150 watts is enough power to run a 65 inch LED television. The Westinghouse iGen 200S is great for powering portable electronics while you're camping or anytime you're away from home. The Westinghouse iGen 200S has two AC outlets, three USB ports, and a 12 volt DC outlet. The electronic display ensures you always know how much power is available, and the light comes in handy during emergencies. Recharge at home or in the field with your car's DC plug or solar panels. Everything is backed by a two-year limited warranty and 130 years of Westinghouse engineering experience. For quiet, clean, portable power, the Westinghouse iGen 200S. The power to dream bigger, go farther, do more. Introducing Rock Pals, a high quality portable power station. Rock Pals 300 watt is the perfect emergency power supply. With the ability to charge tablets, laptops, and keep the lights on, Rock Pals keeps all your essential devices charged and ready to use. Rock Pals is essential for your outdoor gear. Compact and lightweight, it's perfect for camping. Its small size makes it the perfect size gadget to pack in your backpack. Featuring AC-DC, USB, and Type-C outputs, Rock Pals can charge up to eight devices at the same time. Easily recharge your phone, digital camera, speaker, and more. Quickly recharge your Rock Pals power station via AC and Type-C outlets, or even a solar panel. Equipped with 288WH, 78,000mAh battery, Rock Pals is powerful enough for multiple electricity demands. Perfect for a variety of uses no matter where you are, home, outdoors, traveling, or camping. And it easily fits in your back seat during long road trips, too. All of this makes Rock Pals a great choice whenever and wherever you need rock solid support. If we look at the side panel, we have some of the specifics of it. Uh, the dimensions are in metric, so I'll get a tape measure and measure it when we get it out because I have no idea. We have the rated power so it can continuously run 250 watts. If you've ever had a regular power inverter, you know about those numbers. So 250 watts, it can peak 350. So traditionally something with an electric motor takes more power to get it up and going, but once it's running, it takes less to maintain. So you have a peak of 350, continuous of 250. Then we have a couple of the USB ports and the outputs of those. Bam, look at that guy. All right, he's a hefty little compact thing. We have this outlet here. You can see it's kind of goofy looking. That's just because 
it's universal to be used for different types of sockets, different countries and such, but you can plug in, uh, if you're in the US, anything that we have here. We have the Type-C USB port here. Oh, here's the smart one. The blue is a fast charger. We have the two amp output, the one amp output. We have DC in and DC out. Here's our warning about the 250 watt rating. So we've got the nice carrying handle on top. We've got a power button. We've got a button for the AC. We have some indicators for the charge of the battery, the DC USB, and the lights. So we'll see shipped, we're at somewhere between 50 and 100%. You can see the button lights up when we turned on the AC, turns on when we turn on the USB. Oh yeah, look at that, we got some lights on the side. Well, that's cool. Oh, you can flash them. Slow fat flash, that's probably SOS. Alright, let's see what's in this little box. Looks like we have an instruction manual. And we have the charge cable, which is, looks like 15 volt, 2000 milliamp for the output on the charger. It weighs just a little over five pounds. Left to right here, it's seven inches. Got little grippers on the bottom, that's nice. Seven inches by about five and a half and about five tall. Before we test this guy out, we wanna make sure we get it fully charged up. Now I'm gonna do that with a solar panel and leave it out overnight and hopefully in the morning, we're all charged up, ready to go. Got it plugged into my solar panel. Now don't pay attention to the lights looking all goofy. That's only on my cell phone. When I'm actually here looking at it, the left two, 25 and 50% are on solid, 75% is blinking, and I'm sure once 100% is on solid, that'll mean we are fully charged. We are plugged into the DC in port. It's a little late in the day, so I don't expect much to happen right now, but we'll come out tomorrow and it'll be fully charged. Keep in mind this isn't waterproof, so when you're leaving it out like I am overnight, Make sure it's not going to rain or it is in some way protected from the rain.
So I have the Jackery Explorer 160. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, beautifully made power station. This is where you can put your AC plug. You turn on your AC power here. And here are your in and out. This is your DC. This is where you turn on your display. And you can see that I'm 42% charged with my input at zero watts and my output at zero watts. You have your USB. You can activate your USB by turning it on. And then you have your USB-C and two standard USB ports that are going to be 5 watts. And if I want to turn it with the flashlight, here is your flashlight. And there we go. Tell me that you love me, even if it's